Welcome back to another video. It looks like the wind is finally back. We got some good Levante kicking in today and also some waves. So the plan is to go to Bologna, which is a spot one bay next to Tarifa to go for a wave session. <laughs> So Bologna is the bay next to Tarifa and oftentimes you can find better wave conditions there. So that's why we're going there today and I hope there's going to be some waves. And this is really my goal for this winter to improve my wave skills. As yeah, you guys know, they are basically non-existent. I can jump, I can turn on a wave or anything. So I want to improve on that because it's so much fun to go on the waves. Let's head over there and check it out. We arrived in Bologna and guys it's looking so much more windy than I expected because Windfinder showed like 15 knots in the super forecast it said like 20 knots and in all reality it looks more like 25 knots which is good but on the other hand for wave I only have one sail and one board I have around a hundred liter board free free wave board and then a 4.7 sail and in 25 knots this can be quite strong I think. It's one of the new sails for 2023 4.7 the green salt so I'm really excited to try that out today and yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna have to make do with the 4.7 today. I guess everyone else is rigging up 3.7 to 4.2. So I'm gonna be on the biggest sail and with the least skills, which is good. But I'm gonna rig up and show you the sail and then heading out because it looks beautiful out there. Alright, I rigged up, looks fairly windy and I pulled as much downhaul on the 4.7 as possible so that I have some control because I think the 4.7 is going to be really overpowered. Don't forget the sunscreen as it's super sunny today. And yeah, the waves are looking good. The people here are actually riding the waves quite nicely. So I hope I can make some progress on my wave skills today. And I think later Mario is coming so then we can get some shots of each other. But for now, I think I'm going to take the Insta360 and head out for the first session as I don't want to wait. It just looks too nice now and head out for the first session of the day. is done and it was super fun but for jumping it's really hard because when you go close to shore there's not a lot of wind here and there you have the ramps so at the part of the water where the waves are there is no wind and then you cannot really jump because you have no power in the sail outside I did a couple of smaller jumps and yeah I'm training to really get close to the boom and to lift up the rail of the board to get the wind under the board to train to jump higher and then somehow control the landing but one step at a time. I think Mario is coming in about 10 minutes and then we should have someone to film which is good because then we can take a closer look on the jumps from the beach and analyze it better I think. So I'm going to go out again in a short while.
Nein! Go ahead and roast me in the comments down below all you want. I gotta say, sometimes it's hard to get the expectations of a session in line with reality. I saw the waves in the morning and I thought, wow, this is gonna be a great session to improve on my jumping and wave riding. But then when I actually rigged up and went out on the water, I noticed that it's not as easy as it looked like. Because the thing is, the wind was slightly offshore and that meant that near the beach where the waves were actually breaking, the wind was very gusty and also very light. Outside it was much more windy. But then at the place where you had the ramps for jumping, you almost always had no wind. A lot of times I wasn't even planing, sometimes I was just barely planing. And yeah, I wanted to try to improve my jumping, but then you didn't have any power for jumping near the beach and outside there were just not any ramps. So yeah, that was pretty disappointing for the jumping part and I didn't really get any high jumps. I got two or three better ones later in the day when we weren't filming anymore. Of course, you always get the better jumps and the better action when you're not filming. It's always like that when you do videos. But yeah, especially when you're making videos like these YouTube videos, when you go out, you don't just want to have fun. You also have the expectation of making a nice video with uh, some action at least so that you guys can enjoy it. And that's also sometimes a little bit of pressure when I go out there that I don't just plane around but I actually want to do something cool for you guys and like yeah today I didn't feel that I actually did that so the session was a lot of fun just going out. I was out on the water for five hours but then I was a little bit disappointed about the missing action in the video. But yeah, that's just sometimes how it goes and I thought I would include this in this video so you guys get a better insight of what's actually going on. And I hope that nonetheless you still enjoyed the video because for me it's fun to just keep like a log here on YouTube of my progress in wave surfing because that's probably be my like somewhere between third and fifth session on a wave board. So actually I'm quite happy and about the, the wave riding side that was actually going a little bit better towards the end. At first I had a lot of problems with the timing because I have a quite fast board and I was coming in sometimes too fast going over the wave and then when the wave was breaking I was too far away from the wave. I think you saw that in the video. So later what I did is coming in with less speed and actually waiting for a wave and getting the timing better. And then I had a few turns that were actually on the wave and on the lip. So that was nice to make some, like I felt every run I would make an improvement there. So that's quite fun to feel that. Because in slalom windsurfing and speed windsurfing I've been doing it for years and years now. And wave surfing I'm just getting started. So this is really something where I can make a lot of improvement. And it's fun to learn that stuff even now my level is very low. But yeah, overall I'm happy with the session and happy how it went. I had a lot of fun. 
I hope you really did enjoy the video. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy this kind of progress videos of my wave surfing skills. I think we're gonna get some more wave conditions later down the line. And I hope I can improve there and make some better jumps. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.